everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel so today we are going to be doing a boohoo haul this isn't i said that really weird a boohoo haul and um, this isn't something that i've done on my channel before but like i said i'm expanding my channel now i'm going to be recording more of what i am interested in and one of them things is fashion so basically <laughs> i went on to boohoo and they had a bit of a sale on and I'm going on holiday next month, so I can use that as a bit of a, a justification as to why I went shopping on Boohoo. And I came out with this bit of clothes. This is really heavy. I thought we'd open it together. It's literally just turned up. And I thought, what what's better than to open it with you guys? I'll try on what I can I mean, and insert the clips. I mean, chances are... <laughs> Some of this stuff isn't going to fit because inevitably that happens every time I order stuff. So if it doesn't fit, I'll let you know. But we'll open it all up and then I will try it on for you guys. I'll list all the links to the items that are in this bag in the description below. So if you're interested in anything, you can just click the link and go to it. Because I always find that's helpful. But yeah, let's just get on into it. I mean, this is what is inside this bag. So it's probably going to be a lucky dip. The first thing in here is this. And let's get on. I'm pretty sure this is um, a two piece, but it is a beachy two piece, so it's gonna be see through. <laughs> Paper in it, that is not the clothing making that sound. This is a two piece, it's got a top like this, it's kind of chiffon, it's actually a little bit, it's kind of double layered, I'd say. It's, it's, I mean, it's still see through, I can still see through it, and it's got armholes here, so it's kind of off the shoulder but I thought the colours were really really pretty and it's got little pom poms on the bottom of it and then that comes with matching shorts and wow these are see through I mean you can see my hand through that right or is my I mean it's looking less see through on the camera than it is in real life but this is a beach a beach toothpiece so you throw it on over a bikini I would not feel comfortable wearing this in public some people would if you've got a banging body then I can completely understand why you would wear this but me, on the other hand, I wouldn't. I got this in a size medium, which on Boohoo, I'm pretty sure is a size of 10 to 12. Okay, so you'll have to forgive my slightly weird background because I've had to push you back. And now you can kind of see all the junk that's lying around me. And um, So this is the first piece. This is that beach two-piece. I've had to keep my bra and my underwear on because obviously it is very see-through and I don't want to show the world what I look like without underwear on. Obviously... I'm a little bit, <laughs> I'm surprised if I put this up because I am very, very self-conscious about my middle. But other than that, I actually really like this. It's a good length. The back kind of drapes down and covers this bit in between the shorts. The shorts are a good length. They actually cover my bum. You can't see that on here, but yeah, they cover my bum and cut me off at a nice place. Pom-poms are nice. I think this would be really, really nice for wearing around the pool or if you've gone to a beach. The material is actually quite nice. It's that kind of chiffon, but the chiffon that I like, it's like I would wear this over a swimsuit. It's also, if you got it wet, it would dry quite easily. So I think this is really good. And I think it was about, I got a feeling it was about 10 pounds. Again, like I said, I'll link all the links in the description below, but I would give this a thumbs up. The next item that I'm pulling out is I'm pretty sure this is another two piece. I'm hoping this one's a little thicker because this one wasn't under the beach section. Is this the shorts or the top? This is the top. Okay, so again, it's off the shoulder. It's got armholes here. It's white and it's got colored bubbles on the bottom, which I think will look really, really nice if you've got a bit of a tan, which I don't at the moment. I am so, so pale. But I think white when you're on holiday looks lovely, but the color at the bottom is gonna just give it a little bit of a pop. So that's the top, and again, off the shoulder bardeau, and that comes with matching white shorts. Um, this isn't as sheer as the other one, but I can see through it, so you can see my hand through it. So, again, not something I'd probably wear in the UK, but on holiday, you can get away with a little bit more, I'd say. And this I got in a UK 12. I actually quite like it. It's a nice material. I like the way it sits here, however, the shorts on this one are a little bit short. They kind of cut sit right on where my bum is. 
So I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't think I'd feel particularly comfortable because I had the intention of not wearing this around the pool. I had the intention of actually wearing this out on holiday. And I don't feel I feel particularly comfortable in that. The other concern I have with this is the bit underneath here where you'd normally sit under your boobs has got no elastic in it. There's no band on this to stop it from riding up. So although it's got this bit covering, if that was to lift up, you could potentially have a nip slip here because there is no band to stop this going up when you lift up. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Um, I like the way it looks. I just don't think I'd feel 100% comfortable in this. So for that reason, I'm going to say no to this one. Next, I'm not even sure what this is. It gets to the point when you order so much that you don't actually remember what it is. Um, and that's another reason why things go back. Okay, so this is a little red dress. that have got poppers all up the front. Um, it's quite a short dress. I am a short person, I am five foot three, so it probably would be a bit longer on me than other people, but I honestly thought this was a longer dress than it is. It's also a different material, this is sort of a, I want to say a crepey material, it's not quite crepe, but it's that, it's bordering on that. I thought it was more of a scuba material, but it's not feeling that way. Um, I got this in a 12. Okay, so this is the red popper bodycon dress. I'm not even going to back up in this dress because it's just a complete joke. Like, it doesn't even fit around my boobs properly. It's proper pulling. Uh, the buttons don't do up. The straps are not adjustable at all. And it's literally sitting right under my armpit. And it's very, very, very uncomfortable. There is no way I could wear this. The material feels awful. Um, it's that horrible, it's a crepey material, but it's really, really itchy on my skin. And I don't think I have over, over sensitive skin. So this just isn't working for me. Like the whole boobs popping out and itchy skin and it's just not flattering. Like nowhere on my body is this flattering. So this is gonna be a massive thumbs down. So next in this bag is actually a bag. And I thought this was really, really, really cute. It's just a little over the shoulder bag. It's got a long strap that's all sort of tied up at the moment, which I'm not gonna undo now because I'll just make even more of a mess than I already am. But it's pink and gray, which is my absolute favorite, favorite color combination. And it's got this tab that goes through this little buckle. I don't think this comes undone. I think it's a popper bag, it is. And it's a fairly decent size, although it's kind of smelling funny. I don't know if it's the paper inside it or the bag itself, but it's got a bit of a whiff to it. I mean, I can air it. I'll just chuck it outside for a bit and we can air it out. But I thought this was really, really cute. Like, I love pink and grey anyway, and I do wear a lot of pink and grey. So I think this will really work. Or even if you've got a plain outfit on, this will give it a little, little bit of pop of colour and really make it stand out. And its strap on it is also pink, which... I'm loving and I just think over the shoulder bags are just so practical when you need to go shopping and you want your hands free or even on holiday this perfect size and yeah I this is a thumbs up this one. Oh, I remember this is hmm. this was a bit of a um a whim buy let's just say that because this is not my usual my usual thing oh it's very very see-through again oh. so this is a yellow and grey kind of leopard print in between play suit it looks like it's quite short shorts on the bottom and then it's got mid-length sleeves in it and it's got a cut out in the middle and then the top ties up around your boobies so you've got like a middle bit exposed i'm not sure how well this is going how good this is going to look on me and it's it's a very very thin material it's this is a scuba material, but it's a thin scuba material, so I've got a feeling that it's just gonna, it's gonna show all the things that you're insecure about. I got that in a size 12. I'm pretty sure I got most of my clothes in a size 12, or if they were in like small, medium, larges, I always get the medium, because the large is a little bit too big, because it jumps to 14 to 16 then. This is the play suit that ties up at the front and kind of looks like a two-piece from the front. Um, I don't like this. I just, I really don't like this. I don't like the material of it. It feels thin. I don't know if it is thin because I can't look at myself and I can't see myself in the camera properly. Um, I, my boobs don't fit in this bit, so my bra is hanging at the bottom. 
so that's not working for me even if i tried this tighter i just don't think it would work for me i also don't like the way it sits on my tummy it just shows everything my bum is kind of half hanging out the bottom it's just that bit too short and i just don't feel very comfortable i also noticed as i got it out the packet there's this huge thread hanging off the sleeve and it's kind of caught cool, so that the sleeve has now like got no stretch in it so i've got a feeling this isn't going to last very long i also <laughs> The pattern on me, I just don't like. Me with my dark hair, it's kind of given me, um, if you've seen the EastEnders, like Cat Slater vibes, that's what I'm getting from this. And some people can probably like absolutely rock this, but me, no, I just don't like it. I think it emphasizes my massive hips. It's just not for me, this is a thumbs down, this is going back. A dotty piece, which I can't really remember what it is. Oh. <laughs> There's two parts of it and I threw one on the floor. Okay, so this is another two piece. This one is a little dotty number. So these are floaty little shorts, which are red, with polka dots on it, obviously. This is giving me like mini mouse vibes. I'm digging red at the moment, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to incorporate more red into my wardrobe. And I think red on, on a summer holiday with a tan. And that comes with a little matching bardo crop top. Again, little sleeves in it. It sits off your shoulders it's got two layers on it and this actually feels really really thick this outfit we shall see what it looks like when i try it on so this is my little mini mouse number i'm getting proper mini mouse vibes from this because of the, the red and white polka dots all over it and um, i like the shorts the shorts are good they're floaty um they're they're kind of short again because i like to pull them up higher but they're, because they're flowy, they're not as bad. I don't feel like my bum's going to fall out of them. I like the top and the way it sits. However, there is absolutely no elastic in this top at all. There's not even like a loose fitting under sheet. This is all you get. These two little layers. And I'm not joking. I've got my bra still on underneath this. And literally, it's, they, my bra comes out. I, and I don't, you can't wear, uh, this is not a strapless bra. I've just tucked it down. If I had a strapless bra on it, I think it'd be even more visible because a strapless bra is like a thicker band. You can't even like, you can't even lift it up. Like as soon as you lift up, your bra comes out. So as much as I like this, as much as I like this, I don't think it's very practical. I mean, I'd be slipping out all over the place. I, just, I can't keep it. I love it, but I can't keep it. So this is a thumbs down, unfortunately. Pink, my favorite color what is that um um i think this is a dress it's kind of ruched at the bottom which i didn't realize when i bought it i am not a fan of like ruched material like that it kind of reminds me of the dresses that i wore when i was a child i say child when i was like 12. and then this it looks like it should tie up around your boobs with like your middle exposed but this is so long what are you meant to do with this i'm gonna have to work this out it's also very very short very short so i don't i think my bum's gonna be at the bottom it's gonna be one of them pieces that either looks good on or it looks absolutely awful okay so this is the weird scrunched up pink dress that i showed you and i thought this was gonna be the worst dress in the haul but it definitely isn't there's just i just don't think i'm going to keep it there's numerous reasons so i mean it's short so <laughs> it's sort of here my bum ends here it's not that short but because the front is this weird ruched material the front is actually shorter than the back so i can feel like it's going to push the whole dress up also this waistband is too big so it's meant to be really tight but it's not that's probably like it's probably my body shape's fault because i've obviously got bigger hips and a bit of a tummy and then like my waist is a bit smaller so this is actually a little bit big on the waist this bit i have a problem with because this is not a bra friendly top because the way it ties you just can't wear a bra with it but the only issue is this feels like it's not secure it's going to fall down if you are like partying or just literally just walking around on holiday there's that chance that it's going to slip this bit is baggy like here this isn't really doing anything i mean i could probably tighten it up but i'm not going to risk doing that with 
because I will get a nip slip and yeah it's just I mean there's quite a lot of room in the back there I just don't think this is a very well designed dress it's just not for me it'll probably work for some people and you could probably tie it up tighter but yeah I'm just not feeling it I don't also the color on my power skin at the moment I'm just not working with like I've got absolutely no tan currently and this is not a good look so yeah this one's going back as well I actually went for some really bright colors and I never do that my wardrobe is normally very very dull muted colors so I'm very proud of myself in that sense even if it has all got to go back this is a little scuba dress it's purple with panelling on it, white and black panelling on it. This can normally be quite flattering, but I would prefer it if it went all the way down because I find that you need it more, at least me, I would I need it more on my hips than my boobs. So I love this detailing and I love the colours together, but it would be nice if it ran all the way down. It is a vest top type dress. It kind of, it has got a zip at the front. I was going to say it looks like it's got a zip at the front. It has got a zip at the front. So, I mean, you can be as revealing as you like for this. And it is fairly thin again. So, it may show every little bit that I hate about myself. <laughs> okay, um, this is that purple dress. And I was right, it literally hits everything you don't want it to hit. It shows your belly, it shows your hips. Not that your hips are bad, my hips are particularly bad. Um, it literally is squishing my boobs to within an inch of their life, so it is very, very uncomfortable. Even if I done like this, I can't do that because then I risk the whole zip coming undone as soon as I like flex. I'm not, a f I, you know what I mean? Like you put your shoulders back and then the zip would pop down. Um, I'm not confident with how my belly looks in this. I just feel like it's not for me, it doesn't look good on me, the straps are not adjustable, like I feel like adjustable straps are the, a must with dresses, especially when you have slightly bigger boobs because you don't want the dress sitting right under your armpits because it's just not comfortable. I'm not prepared to stand back in this dress. I'm not a very confident person anyway and I'm not doing that on camera because I will feel so self conscious. So yeah, this is a big thumbs down again and this one's going back. This is not going very well, like, literally like half of my bag is going back and I knew this was going to happen but it will look with, my bank account will love me for it. I then ordered a swimsuit or a bikini I think it is. I got a big size, a big, it's not a big size, I sized up in this. I'm not going to try, I'm not going to put this one on and get on camera, there is no way that I am that confident to do that. It's got full coverage knickers in it, this is just paper at the front. That's not part of the swimsuit. It's full coverage, which I do like because I don't... When I go on holiday with family, which I am doing this year, I don't really want my bum fully out. So this is perfect for me. It's got little gold hoops on it. These are actually a little bit bigger than I would normally order, and that is because the top... It came as a set, so you couldn't change what size you wanted. So I obviously sized up so I had the bigger cup size on top because I would normally get a big cup size on the, bo on the bottom. That, I don't think that's possible. A big cup size at the top and then like a slightly smaller size for my bum. So I sized up and I got a 14 in this. So the cups are bigger but it is a tie back. So this is what I prefer because normally when you go up in sizes to get a bigger cup size you get the fastened back which then becomes too big. So at least this I can amend to what I, I want. And I love this colour. This is a lovely, lovely colour. Okay, so although I'm not brave enough to back up from the camera in this one, this is the um, bikini that I bought and I'm actually really, really impressed with it. It's got enough support in it and you can tie it as tight as you want around the neck for that extra bit, little bit of lift. It's a good size, it's got that little bit of padding in it so you don't feel like you're going to be exposed when your bikini gets wet. And yeah, I think this is all around really good. I mean, excuse the line I've got here. I got sunburnt the other week and I had a... Um, square neck top on but yeah i've got to say i'm very very impressed with this bikini and i love the color of it i'm not going to back up and show you the rest of it because i'm not that brave super impressed with this so i'm going to give it a thumbs up and i will be keeping this i then ordered a necklace from boohoo because i don't think i've ever tried boohoo jewelry it's very well packaged look at from that it is literally just a diamante choker i really really like chokers and this one is just diamante all the way around It's diamante all the way around and then the inside is like a black 
uh, what would you call that black velvet so it's not as uncomfortable on your neck and then it has just got a chain on it which is adjustable I'm pretty sure I got this in the sale so I paid I think it was around three pound for it I thought I'd give it a go and I really really like jewelry that's inexpensive when I go on holiday because I don't like taking decent jewelry away with me in case it gets lost or damaged so I thought this would be perfect what I've got two of the same thing okay I messed up and I've got two of these I think what's happened is I added things into my basket and then it saved it and then I went back and added more and I think I must have added this twice so this is going back this is just that white two-piece thing again and now I've got two so I've definitely got to send some stuff back this is a bodycon dress that is long what is this and um, so this is a little mi mini bodycon dress that has got a waffly print on it it's crisscross all over it's got this belt in the middle and then it's quite low cut at the front and i'm not sure what this bit is this is like mega mega long if i put that around my neck that's past my boobs under my boobs i it's got a, what is that okay so the label says crossover i'm just not entirely sure how it crosses over this is going to be a google job i think because i don't know what i'm doing that looks it looks kind of short to be honest so i'm not sure if my bum's going to be at the bottom of it even given my height this actually feels really good quality this is heavy it's quite a heavy dress and it's thick this is that um bodycon black dress that i wasn't sure what you're meant to do with and um i'm not gonna step back and i have to stand like this because this is how it's meant to go um it wasn't like a strap out it wasn't a crossover at the back it was a crossover at your neck and um yeah let's just say it doesn't leave a lot to the imagination and if i let go because of the way the size my boobs are and like literally this is all that's going to cover it um they will yeah pop out so this isn't going to do a lot for me also i can't do the zip up at the back it's not going up over my bum like there's no way this is going to do up this is not a forgiving dress this is have to go straight back because i can't even do it up there's nothing wrong with the dress i actually think it's a really nice quality and um, it looks really loose because it's done up at the it's not done up at the back and um, it's a lovely quality i mean it's a little bit short it's literally barely covering my bum but that might be because it's just not fitting me um but yeah this has to go straight back i think it's lovely i think it's a really nice dress it's just not going to work for me I'm not sure if I can rock this or not, but I saw it and I really, really liked it. And I think this was in the sale. So this is just a bright pink denim jacket with a white collar on it. Strangely, the brand is called Blue, which is odd because it's bright pink. It's a slim fit jacket and it's kind of distressed. The back is ripped and the sleeves have got big holes in, which I think is really nice for spring actually because... I'm really, really into the whole distressed look. I really, really like the colour of it, but it's kind of Barbie-esque. So I don't know how many things it's going to actually go with. I don't know how much my wardrobe it's actually going to go with. So uh, I don't know. I'll have to get my, compare it to what I own and see if I'll actually get the use out of it. But it's quite a lightweight denim jacket, which will be perfect for spring. So this is the pink denim jacket. I actually really, really like it. I've rolled the sleeves up because that is just how I prefer wearing my jackets. I actually think it's a really nice fit. It's comfortable, it's lightweight. I like the colour, I just don't know how much of my wardrobe it's gonna go with. Um, but we can see how that works. This is obviously a bit of an, a bright, I feel like a pink uh, Barbie princess -y barbie doll in this because of all the bright colors but i think i'm gonna keep this it's probably one of the only items in the bag i am going to keep so yeah thumbs up for this one so i then picked up a pair of sunglasses they are rose gold tinted and a rose gold outline on the top followed by a i think you'd call that millennial pink now rim around the edge so they kind of look like this they're kind of a bit cat eye but not quite and they're not fully rimmed they're not rimmed at the bottom um i can never tell if these suit me or not and especially when i've got this massive label sticking in my face i like to try all different shapes of glasses because i never know what suits the suits my face shape 
So we'll give these a go. These weren't very expensive either. I've got a feeling they might be like six pound, but I'm quite into pink sunglasses at the moment. And then the last item I picked up, it says wrap over belted dress. I think I bought this with the intention that I could wear this to work. We shall see if it's work appropriate. Probably not. So it's kind of a cape style dress at the top with a crossover front. And then it's, I mean, it's quite a good length actually for me. It might sit on my knee. And then it's got a belt around the middle to cinch you in. I feel like this will be okay. It's a little bit see-through. Yeah, I think I could get away with that work. Hopefully, we'll try it, and if I can't, then I'll soon know about it. So, this is the dress that I thought that I could wear to work. Um, I don't think it would fail as a, dress, a work dress. My work is very, very formal, so I have to make sure I'm smart at all times. Um, that is my dog. I have to make sure I'm smart at all times. Um, this is a little bit low cut. I'd have to pin it because I couldn't risk like bending over and things coming out. It's also very, very tight on like the lower half, especially on my legs, um, which I'm really surprised at like, considering it's a 12, but it's also quite big here. So I'm not sure why it's like mega, mega tight further down. Um, I am in the process of trying to lose some weight, so I could probably rock it then. I don't think it looks awful. I feel like my bum probably looks okay in it. It's just like my belly and also like the walking. It's not a bad length. It's a little bit short. Um, I normally wear like knee length dresses for work, but it's not awful. The material could be better. It's that like scratchy material again. So I'm undecided about this one. Um, you can let me know in the comments below what you think about this one. Do you think I could wear it to work? Does it look awful? Um, yeah, let me know. I just wish it was just a little bit longer and yeah, I'm not sure. Undecided. I need your opinion. Let me know. So that was everything that I got in that Boohoo haul. It's quite a lot. And to be honest, I'm probably going to have to send some of it back. I mean, I'm definitely going to have to send back that duplicate two-piece that I ordered by mistake because I don't need two. And if I've tried them on, you'll probably know by now more than I will at this point in time whether any of it actually fits. But I hope you enjoyed watching it and obviously it's slightly different to my usual videos and this is the way this channel is going to be going now. I'm going to be doing more of what I enjoy and sharing with you more of my deliveries. So I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, smash that thumbs up button because obviously it really helps me to know what you enjoy watching. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. Come and join along on my journey. I'd love to have you with me. And hopefully I will see you all next time.